Shalom again. Uh, this is Mahar Raham. Today we're going to cover the third group, Hattay. Hattay, uh, page 30. Uh, that's what we're going to cover to, uh, in this video. Not today, honestly. I've been doing this one for almost three videos today. So uh, in this video, we're going to do um, the third group, Hattay. Uh, again, page 30 in your textbook. Uh, and the first letter of the um, this group is half, uh, half, um, This is something new. Uh, don't have this letter in English, uh, or even the sounds. Uh, there is nothing exist in English half. But the closest uh, sounds, uh, uh, it's going to be hath or hath, uh, just like a heavy uh, accent uh, or heavy accent H in this case. Uh, also, hath, uh, uh, we're going to study that one in the next chapter, has another uh, sound in the spoken language, is kh. Hath sounds as h. And then we have kh as well. Um, uh, we're gonna talk uh, about those one, but first I wanna uh, just uh, uh, write head. Head. If you look at the W in English, uh, it's a W, small W, in surah. Head. However, this guy here. Uh, is gonna be straight when it's joined and also there will be something like this when it's joined from right and this one is gonna be from left so if I'm gonna write it right it's gonna look like this one with comes in the middle of the word but by itself stand alone is gonna or stand alone is gonna stay like this one or show like this one this is he, hath and uh, again, uh, later on, we're going to study more about this letter. We're going to put them to have the sounds of kh, kh. We can have a modifier by putting or placing a big dot on the top of this letter kh. So h or kh. And we're going to study when we're going to say kh and when we're going to say h. Uh, only for reading purpose, you gonna when you see a big dots here, so that's mean you're gonna pronounce this one h. Otherwise, h like this is gonna be uh, h. Uh, again, uh, I know English uh, speaker they don't have this uh, sounds or even the letter. Uh, I know other uh, languages like Hebrew, like. Um, Arabic, uh, Pharisee, uh, I mean, all those they do have uh, he in their language. On page 30, as I mentioned here, uh, you're going to have uh, how uh, Hayat is going to connect. By showing this to you just a minute ago, that's mean Hayat connect from both sides. For example, if I want to put Hayat in the middle, of two letters we learn, Beth and Gamal, the word doesn't mean anything, just for example purpose, it's gonna look like this one. So Beth, Heth, and Gamal. Uh, again, the Gamal is not coming like the way I show you, uh, not a 45 degree, it's just uh, the keyboard, or I'm sorry, the board I have. Uh, how exactly we're going to pronounce uh, the hath with the vowel? The sounds of hath with no vowel, h, with a skapa ha, thaha ha, islam of shika h, islam of kishia h, rwaha ho, rwasa hu, huasa hi. If the sounds of this head is kh, by the way, this, uh, the sounds of kh for the uh, mountain accent, uh, always kh, they don't have the sounds of kh. Dashta Ninwa, Nineveh plane, they have the head and the sounds of kh and sounds of kh. Again, we're going to learn that one uh, later on. So if, uh, if the sounds of kh is kh, it's going to look like this one. Uh, kha, 
ח ח ח ח ח sorry חי so ח ח ח ח ח ח ח and for have ha 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 sorry ha 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 let's just bring uh, this page here to show you uh, thus uh, how exactly it's gonna look like ha ha again the font in the computer is a little bit different than the one I show you but uh, the the purpose of this one to see how exactly he is written. Uh, ha 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 uh, Again, for the mountain accent, the sounds is ch. Okay, so it's going to be ha ha ch ch ho ho chi. Examples here: ha, which means one for male; gda, female. Um, Mm, let's say feminine, masculine. First one is for max, maxim, masculine, ha. For the second one, feminine, hawa, ha, wa, hubba, hu, ba, khuda, khuda, khuwa, khuwa. Example. Hubba Adbaba Hubba Adbaba Again, Dalat here is a proposition means of Hubba Adbaba Gda Khuda Gda Khuda Here uh, means one uh, helmet uh, or a helmet uh, We're going to study about Kha and Gda because in Surat we do not have a and an, ad, sorry, we don't have a an and the. So we're going to study that one uh, later. The second uh, letter in this group, uh, which, which is made of three letters, uh, all of them they connect from both sides. The second one is Taith. Again, Taith is another letter. We don't have any uh, or, uh, letter or uh, sounds of Taith in English. T, T. So Taith, I'm gonna write Taith. It's like line like this one, okay? On the line, that's the line you have there. And then you're gonna have a small triangle going down and then 45. That is Taith. So Taith, again, um, that is Taith. I'm just going to make it a uh, big font here to see this guy here, the triangle going down in this case. Taith, Ta, uh, uh, sounds of Ta, again, uh, no English sounds for this letter or the sound, uh, the letter, we don't have an equivalent letter for this guy. Taith uh, connect from both sides is the same for Strangila. Haith also uh, is the same for Strangila. Is same, we don't have any different shape for that one. Now with the vowels, if I'm gonna put the vowels, Taith with the skapa T with the skapa Ta, Ta with the Ptaha, Zlama Pshika Ta, Zlama Kishia, Zlama Pshika. Again, Zlama Pshika Ta, Zlama Kishia Ta, with the Rwaha Ta, with the Rwasa Tu, and finally with the Hwasa Ti. So Ta, 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 Ta. Study the letters and vowels, sorry, uh, with the Ta, 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 Ta. Sorry, to, to, to. Vowels, I mean words, ta, wa, ta, wa, tba, te, ba, twi, wa, 
Tui wa To wa To wa Baba Tawa Baba Tawa The last letter in this group is Yoth. The last letter in this group is Yoth. Yoth is Y in English. Y. Y. Yoth is Y in English. Y. And we have a grammar like we learn with the wow. There are two vowels derived from this letter. I mean from wow letter. Now from Yoth there is one vowel derived from it when we have a single dot under okay now it's a vowel this one is a vowel and it's gonna give me the long e like when we say b okay how are we gonna write yo yoth uh, if you think about you in english okay like this one i just start writing this one from right to left in lower just make those short than the one showing the u so that is u is very close to a uh, head when uh, joined so be uh, be careful when or make the notice about head and yod when they are in the middle of the word uh, uh, how they gonna look like uh, so uh, for example i show you for head I'm going to show you for Yoth if it's coming in the middle between two letter is going to look like this. Now Heath, if I'm going to put Heath, look at Heath, it's going to look like this. Do you see this has two? This one has one. So uh, that is going to be the difference between uh, the Yoth and Heath uh, when they are in the middle of the word. Um, if you remember the three weakest letter, we study that Alep is the first one, Wow was the second. We said Alep is the weakest letter. Why? Because everywhere or anywhere in the word, Alep has no vowel, is silent. Wow only at the end of the word, it falls at the end of the word, no vowel is silent. Now, Yoth is the third one. If Yoth, same thing as Wow, if it falls at the end of the word and no vowel is silent. So, together, these three weakest letters, they call it Oi. Oi. And the culture uh, uh, think uh, about this Oi, when you get hurt, you say oi in our culture in surat culture oi and the word oi is coming from the weakest of the, the those are three weakest letter uh, as is showing here in the middle of page 34 is going to show you the table how yoth connect from both sides yoth connects from both sides and also does not have uh, a different shape from the strangila is the same as a strangila Let's just study Yoth with the vowels. Yoth, Y, without vowel. So with the Skapa, Ya, Thaha, Ya, Islama, Pshika, Ye, Islama, Kishia, Ye, with the Rwaha, Yo, with the Rwasa, You, okay, and then with the Hwasa, Ye, Ye. So, ya, ya, ye, ye, yo, you, ye, 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 sorry, ye. Uh, words uh, uh, belongs to uh, this uh, letter we have here on this page, page 35. Tau, ya, tau, ya, tau, ya, you, bawa. You ba wa yod yod one syllable because the first letter has the vowel o or waha the second letter delet has no vowel okay so it's gonna join the one has a vowel 
so it's gonna be yod. Uh, here, asra to ye, asra to ye. Asra means ten. To ye is in the plural. Everything more than one is gonna be in the plural. So to ye, and we learn about the symbol uh, on the top where you have the two dots, the big two dots next to each other above the uh, letter. Uh, and the skapa changed to zama uh, in this case. So it's going to be usra toy. That's for uh, group three, and I will see you in group four.